Hi guys and welcome back to Learn Golf with Cassie where Coach Dad teaches me draws and I teach you draws. If I can do it, you can. Today we're back at the driving range and let's just get into it so that Coach Dad can explain what we're doing. Thanks Cassie. Yeah, one of the things we do at the start of every session is try and get, we have a warm up. You can see this, something we did right at the beginning. We, You see Cassie do it many times um, over the course of the last year and a half. Um, you can see the video we did on it up here. But I just want to remind Cassie and yourselves and myself of what we're trying to achieve with this drill. So the drill is one handed. We're trying to get the club into position, pivoting here and letting the, the weight of the club head and gravity do the swing for us. So we get the feeling of speed of the swing not from pulling our hands, not from doing our body, but literally just using physics, gravity, momentum to achieve the main basic swing. And this is something that you should do at the beginning of every session, just to get that feeling of the weight of the club basically building your swing. So left hand, you get into posture, and you go back to the L position, you, you're hinging your right wrist, dropping it down to the, the right thigh. The head is just moving out, so now gravity and momentum will make it swing around you, and you just let the club head swing past your hands, and then you re-pivot. The key is to make sure that you don't pull your arms because this is death when you're playing golf. You've got to make sure the club swings past your hands and your hands don't pull the club. And this is one of the keys. It's if you start practicing wrong and you're doing this, you're not actually helping yourself, you're hindering yourself. So doing the drill correctly is very important and understanding what the feeling you're trying to get is and what the action you're trying to get is very important too. Then you do the same with the left hand, hinge. Now this time the pivot again will feel very early and then the club swings down with gravity and momentum and the hinge feels like it's happening behind the ball almost so that it's time to go through here. Now again, if you're doing this and pulling your hands, that's useless. In fact, that's worse than useless. That's causing you a great deal of problem. You've got to be able to, if you can't do it with one hand, you can help yourself with the right, then just let it swing through. And I can just feel the club is doing the swing. I'm barely moving my hands. I put both hands on it. I do the same again. Go to the L, drop it down, and let the club swing through. And I've got a, the feeling of the club is swinging around on an arc. And I'm just hinging, pivoting, re-hinging. But the hinge feels like it's happening back here because when we're going full speed, that's the only way you'll have time to actually get to the ball. So when we do with the ball, nice and slowly, I just feel like I'm hinging, letting the club, dropping this to here, tipping the club head out, then letting gravity do the rest. So I'm just making sure that I don't pull the hands and the club can go faster and then pull me round with it. Of course, this is not full speed. I have got a seven iron here and I'm just literally letting the club do the work for me. Now that one, I got a little bit out of sync, my hands pulled and the club went a little bit right because I pulled the hands like that. So that was not a good practice. Get the feeling. And that was back to the way it should be and that flew about 130. So 130 out of my normal 150 yards is momentum, the weight of the club and gravity doing the work for me. The extra 20 
I can give it with a little bit more movement of the shoulders, a little bit more speed of the club head, but essentially 80% of my swing is this. Okay, and that's what I want Cassie to get back to today so that she gets that, remembers that feeling, and this is the important thing, the feeling of the club swinging for you rather than you pulling the club or trying to hit the ball. Let's make the club work for us and that's why we do this as our drill at the beginning to get that feeling before we start the full swing. Okay, over to Cassie. Okay, and stay in your posture if you can. Make sure the clubs, well, do the right hand again, the right hand still again. Make sure it's, can you feel that club swinging for you? Yeah. Okay. You're going a little bit too soon now. Drop the hand down. Okay, you, let's see if down the line. Are you hinging? Yeah. Not, twi not flicking, good. Letting the club do the work. I feel like you're not letting the club swing all the way through. Good. That's good. Okay, now try with the other hand. Let it hinge all the way through. Okay, your hinge is happening a little bit later. That's it. Okay, you're pulling your hands a little bit. Okay. You can feel like the hinge is happening a little bit earlier. The pivot is happening a little bit earlier. Hinge and... Past your hands. Okay, put both hands on now. Good. Hinge and re-hinged. Good, and again. That one you pulled a little bit. Hinge and re-hinge. Okay, so your hands pulled through on that one, that's why it went right. You get to here, the club's not pivot and hinging, you're pulling the hands so the club head doesn't have a chance to swing. So when it gets the ball, it's either going to hit wide open or in the case of your two, you hit them on the, the thing, on the blade. So you've still got to feel like the pivot is happening a little bit earlier. Okay. Okay. Now your hands are moving away from your body again. Give a small swing. That's it. Okay, hands pulled through, club didn't get to the ball in time. And there it is, that's the club working for you. And there it is, perfect, dead straight. Perfect. Okay, good. Okay, so we're going to do something new here, take a frame by frame view of Cassie's swing. So the setup's okay here. She starts the takeaway, already the club is starting to twist open. Um, by this stage the club face is really starting to open up a bit more. Arms are a little bit out of, from away from her body at this stage as well. So um, you can also see in this pe picture here that She's standing up and losing her posture a bit and looking directly at us, not even really looking at the ball. That's something we might need to work on, posture and keeping an eye on the ball. The swing plane looks okay except the club face is wide open and it's almost like trying to hit it with a knife at this stage. Now she's going to start trying to work it back. The arms are a little bit away from her body and she's trying to, at this stage, going to have to try and f fix it with her hands and you can see she flips the club at contact there the ball squirts out right she's now gone to a completely 
closed face, overly closed, and flipping up with her wrists, and she's lost her posture, and she's not turning with the swing, really. So, um, tricky. Thanks for watching this video, guys. We hope you enjoyed it, and click the like button if you liked it, and subscribe if you haven't already. Um, check out some other videos um, that we've posted that you would like that's going to pop up somewhere here. And so, yeah, we'll see you guys next time. Bye!